They just blitzed that. I, I looked away for a second and suddenly it was went well, straight away. Right, here we go, round three. Right, so uh, guys, involved in the chat, do you think Andy is going to be successful and not break his skill chain in the skill area, okay? Yes, yes or no, I think, I th I th I'm, I'm intrigued. What do you guys think? I'm gonna say... Do you have faith in Andy? That, this, this is the question. <laughs> you, you can see him getting nervous. <laughs> I wanna say I've got faith in Andy. Um... That, does that mean you have faith? That doesn't seem like a very, like, like confident answer. I want to I say have, it. But... I have got complete faith in Andy. I think I think Andy might want to change car to give himself a better chance. This uh, is a very good point. So yeah. I think one of the new features that we've added, or tweaked, I should say, is that um, any point now in the game, players are able to just uh, put, pause the game and uh, change their car just and have it delivered to them right there in the world. Um, this was a feature that we actually had in uh, Horizon 3. Uh, it was a little hidden away and we also charged the player uh, in-game currency to do it. Um, now you can just pause a game, uh, select your car and it'll be delivered to you free, like super fast like you saw. Which is great for things like Forza Fun Live where the type of challenge is changing all the time. Yeah. Um, so obviously we had speed challenges at the start there and now we've got a skills one where I can tell Andy's uh, conscious that he's going to end up flipping his other car so he's going to put something that's a bit more planted. He's just saying, he's, he's right, risen to the challenge. Yeah. Right, I'm just going to see what the chat are thinking. Are they fe feeling confident in Andy or are they kind of like, feeling a bit as if he's, he's going to crash? I think he'll miss the jump. Right, that is the big part of this. Well, we might miss the jump. He's taking it safe, so he's oh. going for the <laughs> smash everything kind of in the skill chain. The group is actually doing this really quickly as well. What, what other kind of like tips and tricks would you kind of like offer players, like give players to kind of do as well in these sports on live challenges? So I would say, um, in terms of skill chains, key point is to <laughs> not let it bank, which Andy just got away with there because the the higher you get your multiplier, the, the bigger it will be, and you want to bank that massive skill chain at the end. So as you see, there are actually some players who've got some really big chains that they've been banking, but you don't want to be banking lots of little skill chains kind of frequently. You want to try and hold on to a huge one and get your combo all the way. Prof Toby. All the way. Prof Toby, this PhD, has said, in Andy we trust. <laughs> right. He, I that guy's got a PhD, so he knows what he's talking about. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he is pulling this together. How much? So, what's the total? Is it a million for the group progress, or is it just kind of that? Oh, some of the banks a lot, a big one. Yeah. So that was someone holding on to a huge chain. I think it'll be about a million and a half for this one. And he's doing pretty well with that chain as well. He's not. He's not banked it. If there's a few more players holding on to big chains like that, this could be over pretty quickly. Yeah. Which is a pretty good time as well. Like as a group, they've managed to do it in around eight, like eight minutes, right? For the for the whole 15 minute chat. Yeah, that is that is not bad going. These guys are pretty good at the game. They've definitely played, they've definitely played it before. <laughs> have they? Um, have they? <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're there we go. Anything, right? yeah. There we go. So that is the Forza Fun Online yeah. event, which is like they, they happen every hour, um, yep. all week round, every season. Every season, every hour on the hour. And uh, it's completely synced worldwide as well. So like when you see it on your server, every player in the entire world will see that Forza Fun Live fires at the same time as well. Mm -hmm. And it'll be the same, the same Forza Fun Live for everyone. Um, also, Timmy the Kid has just came in and asked, what area of Britain is it set in or inspired by? Which particular part? I'm guessing the region that we're in, based on the, based on the question. So the region that we're in, do you know where? Yeah, this, this is kind of inspired by like rural South Edinburgh kind of countryside. I also think we need to now do cross country, right? Which is a pretty exciting thing. Cross country races um, kind of showcase all the, the new big cut, like the four by fours. Yeah, um, especially because yeah. we're like the verticality of the world. Oh no! So we're going to the motorway now, right? Actually, that was a question that was asked earlier. Are we course, going to yeah. the motorway? All right. So we're going to head to the motorway now and kind of talk through a little bit more of the world uh, as we're doing it. So, what can other players expect from autumn? So from autumn, you will be getting like any other season. You'll get a lot of awesome con uh, content coming in. So you'll get just miss one there on the minimap, but you'll get kind of specific events called out. These are like um, kind of seasonal championships, uh, something we'll go into, into more detail later. Um, and you also get your kind of Forza as well, so that changes every week with the season. Um, never mind the fact that the whole world, the whole world changes, the whole world is a completely like different driving experience. We also, I think we're going to get Ben in as well because we're going to have three Bens. So, oh. Mike, right. thank you very yeah. much for talking yeah. us through Forza Fun. Really appreciate it. It's been like, yeah. really interesting as well. Uh, we're going to get the third Ben in because this is the first time that three Bens have been united on us. So, if we have uh, Tree Ben, 
Right. I'm 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 I feel like we need to have like nicknames, like Tree Ben. Um, I can just go with Benny and then you can have the real Ben. <laughs> All right, fine. The real Ben. I'll be the I like real that. Ben. The real Ben. That's going to stick now forevermore. What, real Ben? <laughs> yeah, in the studio. That's what I'm going to call you. Um, so, shall we, uh, so motorways, right? Because we're, we're heading up to the motorways now. It's really exciting for like me and someone from Britain to kind of see the blue signs. Yes, they go, they go really fast signs. Um, <laughs> so, that there, yeah, there is something really eerie, actually, for a, for a Brit going down this stretch of road because it's it does feel very authentic especially with all the um, average speed camera signs across the motorway which is something that other British people will, will recognize um, but obviously we're gonna blast past those way faster than 60 miles an hour which is something I've always wanted to do in real life but obviously never do I'm a very <laughs> responsible person so we've, we've got all the kind of like details on the motorway as well like I, I, I feel bad every time I talk to you. I keep going back to trees. It's just my habit. <laughs> it's like, oh, right, that's the kind of. Because autumn is obviously so, so, so different to what we saw in summer last week. Sure. Um, so, kind of using the trees as a basis, what kind of other changes are there in the world? Because you did promise us mud. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, actually, um, we're, we're hightailing it down the motorway towards. Um, a 4x4 adventure park which is in in the game world uh, and it's a, a real sort of showcase for what we've been doing with uh, deformable surfaces and deformable mud especially um, so yeah so we're uh, we're going to be showing off exactly how that changes up some of the, the driving experience there as well as the visuals as i said everything that we're showing here when it comes to autumn it's not just about visuals it's about how we're changing up the actual driving experience in the world as well as it, as it just starts to rain a little bit as well, because like there, there was barely any rain last yeah, week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, it was um, it was very much a mirror of the weather outside, wasn't it, last week? We're, uh, and actually, I've been watching you guys from the, the back of the room. We actually had quite a lovely blue, clear autumnal day. But as you can see at the moment, we're starting to get some of that real time uh, weather conditions start to change, and and arguably be slightly more representative of a British autumn at the moment. So some of that mist is starting to roll in. Um, and you start to get a bit more rain. Um, PJ Tyranny has just come and asked as well, Ben. Oh. It's like, I, can, I can just say Ben and I'm always right. <laughs> right. Uh, PJ Tyranny uh, has just asked, do skill songs return? Skill songs, yes, they do very much return. Um, particular favourite of mine. I will not spoil how you get them because you will unlock them in a slightly that's, different way. That's just being a massive tease. <laughs> it's, like, it's just like, all right, yeah, they do return and I'm really excited. <laughs> and yeah, that's, that's, that's all I'm telling you. Um, also, Krakenus has just asked, looks like a part of the M8 motorway outside Edinburgh, Sweet Beans, that was Aces. So, obviously, a, a favourite part of the motorway for, for him. Yeah, that's <laughs> part, that part of the M8, beautiful. <laughs> was he right? Um, do you know what, he actually might be right. Um, so, th we were obviously coming from the sort of northern part of the map, which is where Edinburgh is sat, so, um, so yeah, it very well could have been taken from that particular section. And we are now getting to the, the mud track. Just look at that, the sink, I sink into that mud. Um, so can you talk us through a little bit about this, this, this area? Where sure, yeah, so this is, this is inspired from a, a real life um, off-road adventure park, which a couple of the guys, including Andy actually, uh, had the displeasure of having to visit in real life and drive their cars around and have a bit of fun in, um, so that we could get all the reference and make sure it was all represented as accurately as possible. And um, it's translated really well. It's definitely one of the most fun areas in the game, I think, to, to play those um, playground arena type game modes like Infected and King, um, as well as being a real, real cool looking place as well, especially at, at night, obviously we're in the day, but we've actually um, set the whole place up with lots of really cool festival touches so you get lots of neon lighting that uh, sort of punctuates. If, if it gets dark in time, because we, we don't have control of the weather, like, like, we like, 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 like real life, yeah. we don't have control of day or night. Uh, Cracklist has said, was I right? Thanks about the motorway. <laughs> we, we, we think so, right? That, that I, be I believe you were right. I do you um, think so? The mud looks incredible. Like, what, what kind of work's gone into kind of getting it so it's just like this? So yes, yeah, so we um, we actually did a, a massive overhaul on the way we were representing um, variable levels of moisture in, in the world. Something that's really important, obviously, to represent each of those seasons, and that, that obviously plays a big part of it in the, in Britain. So yeah, so there's a, there's a, a system that analyzes the whole world for different dips and divots and finds out where water would collect and which surfaces would collect. Shall we go into the event as well? To sure. Kind of like try out the, like see, see it in action in the event because I think we can, we can have some fun right towards the, towards the end of the stream. Guys, keep your questions coming in as well. T-Dex said that the formation looks so good. Nice work. 
So like, it, it is absolutely <laughs> mind blowing, though, like kind of the level of detail and how much the world changes from season to season. Because if you went there in summer, what would that be like? Yes, yeah, so all the all the mud in summer obviously gets really compact and hard. So it's a very different experience. You're, you're able to well, you're not able to throw the car around maybe quite as easily as you would when everything's a little bit wetter and a little bit slicker. Right, so which, which event are we going into? I miss, I miss the event. We are going to go into a race around the 4x4 park. Right, are we, should, we, should we see if we do a little uh, like lap challenge, see Andy to set, set a time and then the, uh, the Bens can go at it to see who can get the, uh, the fastest lap? No, don't do that, he'll, I mean, he'll win. But don't, don't, have confidence <laughs> in yourself. You are the tree man, right? It's not, I know the month. Yeah, yeah. Wait, this just reminded me. Yeah. Soil. So, oh, right. don't make me talk about soil, Helen. Right, this is the level of detail there is in this game. <laughs> like, it blew my mind. Like, you can tell the differences of quality of soil based on... Yeah, so, so like, before we go down that rabbit hole... Um, so, yeah, so, so it, we, we do... Like I said, we have, like, a, a piece of tech that, that finds out where water would be pooling in the world. So, so we sort of use that to translate to um, how much moisture would be in the, in the ground and how healthy a tree might be. So, so a tree that is around a more moist area of the world might hold on to its greens for longer, so, so it'll be more green in autumn and less sort of like those autumnal colours starting to come through. So it's a, it's a nice little detail that we get. Uh, nice, nice little change. Yeah. And Mr. True Man says, can confirm Britain is muddy. Oh yeah, that's true. That yeah. is true. No, that is definitely true. We, and, we, and mud is fun. Mud? Yeah. Well, it, it depends. Like if you're, if you're in a big 4x4, four four, it's going to be a lot oh, of fun. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You get stuck in, the, in some wellies, not so much. Oh, I see. I think that is quite fun on a level. But yeah, you're right, in a 4x4, four four, it's, uh, it's, it's more fun. It's more fun. Yeah. Um, Branko says, never been an off-road guy, but the mud looks awesome. I, I think that's the thing, you can go more into this, is the different styles of driving that you get in Horizon 4. Yeah, so we've put loads and loads of work into the kind of, um, like, road, asphalt-based driving versus yeah. the kind of off-road stuff. So trophy trucks like this are even more effective at just driving it.